morning folks, Phil here from Telford Koi Pond and as you can clearly see we're uh, we're on the road again with uh, Craig, Scrag. Good morning. We're off to Wrexham to uh, show our support for Danny Boy, my boy's Koi, for his grow and show and uh, whoever's going to turn up there hoping to meet some people. So uh, yeah, we'll snap back to you once we get there. So here we are. We've just uh, just arrived, busy car park. You see, people. <laughs> Morning. Good morning. People already here. People already mooching about. I did see Danny outside just, but uh, people already looking at the fish by the looks of it, or getting things ready. So we'll uh, we'll have a scoot inside and see who's about. So here we are. There's the legend that he's Cashy. Hello, mate. How are you doing? You're right. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Got big man himself over there, he's got to say a, say a quick hello. You alright mate? Well, are we? See you in coffee? Thank yours? you very much. Thanks Good to see you mate, no problem at all. So there we go, bits and pieces. We'll have a quick scan, people are still uh, still setting up because it doesn't officially start yet. We always like to get here early. But you've got uh, Danny's Koi over there. You've got Will's Koi and Bonsai. Look, they looking pretty darn good. Wow. Crikey. He has been busy. Wow, look at that one in the pedestal in the middle. That is absolutely fantastic. But we'll have a proper look afterwards. There's the other legend, there's Jamie from Keeping It Coy. Hello mate, how you doing? You're right. Jamie's bought his bonsai, I'm good, thank you. Bought his bonsai for us to have a look at and there's also a, uh, a trinket store. Bits and pieces. So yeah, very good. It's actually the same room at the same time, at the same as uh, last year, so we've got tea and coffee and bits and pieces, so I'm going to help myself to one of them and then we'll, uh, we'll come back and see what else is happening. So we've got a quick look at the, uh, the fish before it gets too crowded. So I think we've got uh, Shinoda Hayatsuri in there, and I can't remember the other breeder's name, but there's, uh, there's obviously a selection of fish in there, as well as some, uh, some of those uh, Taba Saba <laughs> things, whatever they are. Now I know some people like them, so if you like them, good on you. Just not my cup of tea. But uh, having said that, I do appreciate them. But the Hyatt Suri are looking uh, nice. In fact, they're all looking nice, to be honest. Have a good look at them. What we got in the next one? Again, we've got uh, a mix. Got these six to eight inches, something like that. Apologies for the uh, the glare again. Uh, but we are outside. And then these uh, these look like the Asagi. I so say you won't see much at the minute because of the uh, well, it's nice gimming. There's some really nice gimming on some of these. None of the yeah, the cameras picking it up or not. That one's particularly nice there. Then if you can see, obviously we'll have a proper look when the uh, there's got netting all over the top at the minute, which will probably be obscuring the view, but we'll, uh, when they come to the picking, we'll have a proper look. And then in the last vat. <laughs> Bigger selection here, Goshki, Akamatsuba. Ooh. Akimatsu was nice down there, and then again whether I'm picking it up. Very nice. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll call it off here for a bit, and then we'll uh, we'll wait for the proceedings to start. Again, great to see everybody. Great to see some uh, some old faces and some new ones. Absolutely superb. Thanks so much. So I'm not going to uh, record all of this, but obviously we're, uh, we're just going to kick it off. Six months has flown by and it's been a massive change. And those of you who've been watching the YouTube channel will, will know just how much it's uh, evolved since uh, since we first did this. Um, and, and the idea is still the same to keep on growing it year on year and eventually turn it into. I'll come back to you when we're outside looking at the koi being selected. I can't tell a lie. It's fish time. But for Craig, not for me. Spotted an absolutely superb Gimli Matsukawa backy. Can't believe it hasn't gone already. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Danny fails over there, Danny at the back. There. Danny there. 
one there. Yeah, it's here. Here, Danny. There, Danny, now going up to the top. That's, the, that's, that's, that's it, yeah? That's, that's it, you've got it. You're on it, you're on it, you're on it. Top one there, no? No, no, this one. This one. Hmm? The small one. Not even looking at the same fish. <laughs> so I'm just going to start the wheel of death for the order of picking. Big Sean Kimber, get yourself out there, mate. It's quite good, actually. You got your book, yeah? So we just popped outside to see the guys uh, picking. We won't film everyone, but uh, and we won't get in the way. But it'll be interesting what people are uh, are picking. And apologies for the wind in advance because it's uh, it's got up a bit now. So you've got the choice of uh, one of the showers or one of the asagis. Or if you bought more than uh, one ticket, obviously you can have whatever you uh, whatever your preference is. The gimmick on these sagas is really well, something special. Do you mind? I don't know. Uh, I don't interrupt. So bottom line is, ladies and gentlemen, there is not a bad fish in here. The gimmick is absolutely stunning on some of these. A little bit of size difference, but there's a you know obviously quality as well. So. You've got more like down here, like a yucca sagi, which is more like a white sagi. Less blue, more, more of a white colour. I'll throw one down here with a red one. This one here. That's a nice pack. Yeah, you're happy with that? Yep, that's the one. That'll do. Good choice, sir. Very nice. This is the first pick out of the uh, shower vat. Really classic. Classic coin here. <laughs> this is awful. This is for choice. Some crackers, there's not a bad it's one in there. Crackers. Yep. I mean, that's stunning, but it's really obvious. I want something with a bit of a challenge. I'm going to go with this one. Don't ask me why. This one with the head pattern. It's going to have, that's yeah, nice head pattern, isn't it? That's the right one. Yeah, that one. That'll do. It's nice. I'm not greedy, I'm not fussy. I just want to grow it. A bit of uh, clear space on this fat, so we'll just have a quick look on the uh, at the showers. Again, apologies for the uh, the reflections. I can't really do anything about that at the minute, but there's some, some cracking fish in here. Different weights of uh, sumi as well. Some, yeah. There you go, folks. No longer Mr. Pipework, it's Mr. L from now on, please. Thank you very much. They're beautiful, aren't they? You've got room for an Avery. I've got room for one of these without an Avery. I think they'd have it in the spare bedroom. They're absolutely lovely, aren't they? So everybody's. Uh, picking in earnest now so I'm not really going to film any more because obviously it's uh, it's more of the same you'll have <coughs> seen excuse me seen all the fish by now fantastic quality so we'll call it a day here and uh, just have a quick squeeze round at the faces there's uh, Craig and Co. Dino in his fluorescent jacket god bless his cotton socks does make me laugh so yeah, great stuff for everybody that's been here today, supporting Danny, there's some cracking fish being bought. Looking forward to see how they all, uh, they all grow on and develop. I'll catch you next time.